Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen of the board. Today, my partners and I are here to present to you the strategic plan of expansion for RSI. But before we begin, please allow me to walk you through today's agenda. First, we'll start off with an overview of RSI's current operations. Next, we will take a look into the industry that RSI currently operates in. From there, we will analyze the strategic options that are available for RSI to expand. This will also be discussed in further detail by my colleagues, Miguel and Mike. Next, we have our recommendation, which John will walk you through, as well as CJ will conclude today's presentation. About RSI, RSI is based out of Halifax, Nova Scotia. It operates under two different brands as well as two different locations. The first brand and the first location is named under the name Rejuvenating Spa Inc. Its primary focus is to cater to those individuals that are seeking an affordable massage spa-like experience. Next, they have the brand Ladder Spa Inc., which is located in a hotel. This uh, brand caters to individuals that are looking for not only luxurious, but also an innovative experience. Even though the two brands are positioned slightly differently to target different customer segments, for the fiscal year of 2014, both of these brands saw strong financial performance as they had both top line and bottom line growth. Now let's take a quick look into the industry in which RSI operates. Its strong 2014 fiscal year performance is backed up by the attractive margins that are seen within the industry, the favorable consumer and industry trends, the fact that there is no really dominant players within the industry that are placing downward pressure on pricing, and with our recommendation, RSI could position itself as a front runner within the spa and massage industry. Next, let us take a look into the different strategic options that are made available to RSI at this current time to expand its business. First, there is the consolidation of the RSI and the Lavish brands. Secondly, RSI could enter into a franchising model. Third, the strategic partnership with FFL. Or lastly, the expansion by acquisition. But before a decision can be made on which strategic option is the best for RSI, it is very important that we analyze the following issues. To further discuss and analyze the different strategic options that are made available to RSI at this time, I will turn it over to my colleague Miguel, who will present to you the first two strategic options. Miguel? Thanks, G. Strategic option number one is consolidation between RSI and Lavish. To start with the pros, one of the pros is that it is consistent with Sally's mandate to operate under one brand, and next is, is that it would strengthen their strategy with operating on only a single mission and vision. And with that, they could generate cost savings through integration of their processes, and also the decision-making process would be centralized. And uh, to start with the cons, Cons would be that it would be met with heavy management resistance and operational differences. Because RSI operates on a different level than uh, Lavish, there are many operational differences that need to be addressed. And next, the restructuring of the program might lead to migration. And there are also some accounting policy differences between the two. Next would be the if uh, to answer the question that if it would uh, fit with the mission and vision statement. The answer would be yes. It is still under the reputable leading spa under operating under one brand identity. And as far as quantitative analysis goes, with consolidation, they could generate an EBITDA of 6.5%. And any financing uh, cost to pursue the strategic option would be very minimal because it is a cost of doing business. And next, um, there aren't any financial reporting or tax treatment implications. Strategic option number two would be franchising. To start with the pros, pros is that it would meet the mandate for growth. And next is that with several franchisees operating under RSI, it could uh, capture a significant amount of market share. And third is that if, if each franchisee is individually operated and each franchi franchise will, can, be, can have a potential to be very reputable. And next is that it could capture industry knowledge from very experienced franchisees. And cons, cons would be like what every franchising model of business does, is at the same level of quality issue. 
And next is that operational issues are caused by overwhelming growth. Next would uh, be uh, to uh, answer if it would meet with a uh, mission and vision statement. Yes, it would be under developing one brand and network reach. As far as quantitative analysis goes, EBITDA is computed to be around 14%. And to just give you a brief breakdown, so the break-even analysis, it requires eight franchisees in order for RSI to break even. As far as financing goes, there are small upfront costs with each franchisees, and uh, we believe that RSI can afford this. As, and uh, financial reporting implications and tax treatment, there aren't any. I'm going to pass it over to Mike for options number three and four. Thank you, Miguel. So I'm going to be discussing two strategic options that KSI is considering. The first being the partnership with FFL, and the second being the acquisition of Pure Substances. So the pros of the FFL partnership, the expansion of their current operations um, will ultimately minimize their costs and their risk uh, as these functions are shared. Um, the tapping into a new customer base with the same core values, customers with the same core values, this will eventually generate revenue long term. The new training and opportunities provided for therapists as well as some of the synergies from the, uh, for employees, uh, as well as new opportunities to uh, change in what, what they're pursuing, as well as flexible scheduling. The cons are the brand consideration uh, and the fit. Um, the uncertainty as to the financial viability of FFL, we don't know, the, their statements are not audited, so it's a lot of uncertainty there. The additional administrative and startup costs of a partnership, uh, if it's a general partnership, the unlimited liability for the partners. With the vision and mission statement that they're, they're revised, that they revised, this par uh, partnership will assist them in meeting their vision for the future, which is to essentially increase their market presence in operations. The quantitative analysis, they're projected to, KSI is projected in year one to lose about 20000 but long term, they will be profitable, um, as well as there is an upfront cash investment of about 47000 that case I will need to put down. And the second option is the acquisition of pure substance. So some benefits would be the integration of the supply chain and logistics functions. This would provide a cost advantage for, um, for KSI. Manufacturing and distribution of their product lines. So they're introducing manufacturing. Um, this will increase their products and potentially their product mix. Their growth potential in retail, that's a big opportunity for them, uh, as well as corporate social responsibility and environmental benefits um, from the organic-based products. Drawbacks are the inexperience with manufacturing again, they, and quality control. They may have to hire additional personnel for, to handle that, those functions. Uh, as well as the competition from foreign producers might drive down selling prices, which could impact margins negatively. Um, the freight increasing proportionately with revenues is a concern, uh, as well as the ethical problems and if the uh, conflict with the outsourcing if they decide to outsource their manufacturing. And so the fit with the new vision and mission statement, this acquisition doesn't necessarily fit with their vision. Um, they again, they don't have the resources for manufacturing, and it's not where they're looking to go. Um, Pure's financial statements: they're they have declining revenue year over year, uh, an increasing cost of sales, thus resulting in a weakening margin, and as well as dwindling cash, which is which is very concerning. So now I'm going to hand it over to John. Thanks, Mike. I'd now like to discuss the criteria we applied to the previously mentioned strategic options. The first is mission and vision. It's important that whatever strategy we aim to pursue also coincides with the goals and strategy of the overarching corporation. Two is increasing brand recognition. Not only does it offer uh, an opportunity to increase growth, but it will also improve future sale negotiations because of the higher level of recognition. Third is meeting growth objectives. Fourth is operating within constraints. RSI has a strict loan covenant and we need to be cognizant of that fact. Lastly, we need to operate within RSI's resources, especially considering the shortage in management time. So based on these criteria, we applied it to the different options, and it's our opinion that the consolidation, partnership, and franchise should be pursued. 
We see the consolidation as a great opportunity to reduce costs and offer a cohesive strategy across the entire company. It's important to merge all supporting functions using the strategy. Next is the partnership. We see it as a great opportunity to boost profitability and also integrate the goal of reducing employee turnover. It's vital that RSI logos are present in FFL locations so that brand recognition will increase. And lastly, the franchise is another great opportunity to boost profits and take advantage of the increasing market share in the sauna industry. It's important to have strong internal controls so that all franchisees have the same strategy, strategies and goals. So now we'll discuss the implementation plan. So we believe that the consolidation and partnership should happen right away. Consolidation should be um, championed by Susie, and it will actually result in almost immediate cost savings. The partnership would ideally be championed by Lisa White after having reviewed some uh, leadership courses. If she does not want to take on this initiative, RSI should hire an external manager to front the project. The partnership will require an upfront cost of $50,000, but we project operations to remain profitable. Then it is our view that one year down the road, you should start franchising as this will give you enough time to gain experience and settle with the partnership in FFL. The effort cost will be $200,000 in year one, but we project that you will become profitable by year two. The goal is in one year to open up four franchises and by year two to have eight. Now we'll pass on to CJ to discuss. The Thanks, Jonathan. And now that we've discussed the different strategic issues, let's discuss the other issues that have come up in our meetings. To begin with, the operational issues, we have proposed an updated vision and mission statement. The vision statement is to become the reputable leading spot for Canadian spa growers by growing RSI's brand geographically. And the mission statement has been updated to provide exceptional client-centered spa and therapy services to induce clients in an atmosphere that is relaxing in a manner that is environmentally friendly and sustainable. This reflects our expansion plans. For financial forecast and financing, there are two different options which will require financing. The franchising will need 200k in the second year, and the partnership with FFL will require 210k in the first year. Even though we have the option of getting our financing from the bank, it is not recommended to do that because we can't meet the bank covenants and the shareholders won't get paid, which may cause issues in the future. A recommended action is to acquire financing from Blair Cummings. Even though the interest rate might be higher and the shareholders might be against it, it is probably the best recommended solution since shareholders will get paid every single year through dividends and also because we can leverage Blair's finance background in the future if he decides to turn his investment into equity. We've also discussed major performance management issues. To begin with is a corporate structure that consolidated entity. Lavish and RSI together will be consolidated financially, however oper operationally they'll still be separate because we want to retain manager's expertise. There will be no impact to the core benefits. For employer bonuses, we still want to make sure that they get their bonuses based on their revenue to keep them happy. We we'll also divide between below managers who will get additional vacation time so, that they, so that they avoid burnouts and for managers and above who will get more equity in their investments to retain talent on both ends. There is also the admin functions. We're going to have one admin function across all boards to keep track of the accounting system, key customers, uh, referrals and this is going to cut down costs for admin costs by 20 percent. There's also accounting and financials. Since they are going to be consolidated financially together, we want to make sure that they follow ASPE. And if they want to go public in the future, then they can follow IFRS. Lastly, there's also the balance scorecard. We want to make sure that this the balance scorecard is going to help align business activities and operations of RSI with strategic goals of stakeholders. There's financial perspective, which is to increase the revenue streams. There's the customer perspective, we want to keep the loyal customers coming back to us and make sure that they are in memberships. There's learning and growth as well, where we want to make sure that the therapists are learning and they're attending sessions every single, every single year. In conclusion, this presentation evaluated the major business opportunities that are currently available to RSI and we recommend that the company consolidate with its subsidiary uh, lab and spa, pursue the partnership opportunities with FFL and franchise RSI's brand. We're willing to take any questions and we hope you enjoyed our presentation. Thank you.